Hey, what's going on, everybody? This is Tyrone back with Tech Life. And in today's video, I did some millimeter wave testing on Verizon. The first one was at a bit more range. But as soon as I moved back further than this, what you're seeing in the video, it cut out. So to make that continuous, they're going to have to build more nodes. They're just going to have to to make it a bit more of continuous millimeter wave coverage. What I was hoping to find is some CBRS. So I also did some LTE testing, which you will see. But based on the speed and the fiber that I'm anticipating to be fed to the nodes, it's CBRS is likely not on yet. And you will see. So I'm getting three gigs, a little bit over three gigs on this node, which, as you saw, is a bit further away. And then I switched over to LTE and I did not get that great of speeds. I was getting between 40 and 50 and 60 on some of the notes that I was testing. As you see here, I, I, I just switched it over to LTE. And as you see, that's not a CBRS test. CBRS testing is much faster. I've seen some CBRS testing four, five, six, seven hundred 700 megabits. And based on the fiber that is being fed to the node, it's Verizon owned fiber. I'm sure that there's much more backhaul on air than this. So just keep that in mind as you go through this testing. I, I tested two nodes. I spotted several more. I spotted several more nodes. And I'll leave you with the rest of the video. Um, I hope you enjoy. There's more coming. I'm, I'm, I'm testing more. I'm spotting more N41. I'll post those pictures on the Twitter. So that's definitely very interesting to see N41 is spiking again. And I hope you guys will stay tuned. Make sure to follow the social media outlets for more updates. Like, share, subscribe. And I'll leave you with the rest of the video. Peace.